Shosha, you are always ready. She is always ready. Emirati lady leading by example with full power. Good evening and welcome to episode four of the live interactive coached workouts brought to you here by the team at Vogue Fitness. People are now just about tuning in. But Shosha, mashallah, you are always ready and you have too much power. Coming to you live from the Yas Marina Studios. Hello to Azza and Arif. Arif, of course, ad knock one, two, three, and four. Anything is possible. <laughs> Hello, Jasna. Good morning, slash, good evening. Good night. For those that are tuning in early, we're going live in two more minutes with our live interactive coach online ward. Saeed Abdullah, good morning. Remember, drop us a comment in the live chat if you're with us. Let us know if you're ready and pumped to do the workout today. Remember, guys, make right. sure that you have your rowing machine ready if you are using a rowing machine. If you are not using a rowing machine, then you need to have your kettlebell ready. And everybody needs their dumbbell for the alternating dumbbell snatch and the burpees over the dumbbell. We have a spicy one for you this evening, an absolute burner. So make sure that you bring the heat. China. Hello to Mrs. Simmons, who's tuned in already. Elliot will be doing the workout today. See if you can beat him. Just like you uh, beat Billy Graham. We have calls that we should be um, renting our assault bikes. Um, however, you will all be very grateful when the gyms do return to normality and we are able to open that the bikes will be functioning properly. Serene Fadio, hello amazing peeps, hello Amina, hello Ali Alhamami, good morning, we'll be going live in about 20 seconds, so get pumped, wonder who the coach is going to be tonight, I think we're about to find out. <laughs> Good evening, guys. We are back at it, back at Vogue Fitness. Okay, so tonight, after your weekend of rest, hopefully not too much rest, um, we have a 20-minute workout. What you're going to need is your dumbbell, your rower. If you do not have a rower, the option is a kettlebell. Okay, so just make sure you have both of them nearby. We'll go over the workout. Um, we'll then go over the movements and then the scales and the options for the workout. Okay, so first of all guys, find a bit of space on the floor, lying on your back. We're going to start off with 10 crossovers. So your crossover, lift that leg up straight, come over, touch your hand with your toe. We did these last week with Anthony. We want to stretch out that lower back, okay, so you're going to be doing a bit of pulling from the floor today especially if you're going to be using your kettlebell. But you know, a strong bat never hurt anybody. You'll notice that we have two participants in tonight's workout. This is in line with the UAE government's 
uh, initiatives to reduce crowding. So we'll be working out with one coach and, uh, and two of us. That's all we need, eh? Um, okay, come to your feet, guys. Let's go 10 toe touches. With your toe touches, just have a slight bend in your knees. Touch your toes as if you're doing a deadlift. We had quite a lot of our members pick up some more kit today, one of them being Coach B. Hello, Coach B. Coach, 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 coach. <laughs> Ready to win the class? Coach, 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 coach. Once you've done your 10 toe touches, guys, come down to the floor for your calf pump. So give your calves a good stretch. We're going to do a little bit of jumping over the dumbbell. So you want to get those calves nice and warm. Remember, if you're not going to win the warm-up, then what's the point, right? Do them extra fast. Lovely. Cool. Once you've done your 20 calf pumps, stay down. Come to your hands and knees like Anthony is here. We're going to go for five cat cow. So your cat cow, you're going to bring your shoulder blades up to the ceiling like a cat. Meow. And then you're going to come into an arch. <laughs> Moo. Greenwood, you big like pussy a, cat. Like a cow. Uh, yeah, like a cow. And then look up at the ceiling when you're a cow. Done, done heart tuning in, you'll be particularly good at this Back one. Back into an arch and then into your cow. Five times. <laughs> Dan Hart loves a, uh, a pussy cat stretch. <laughs> Dan Hart tuning in from the UK. Hello to everyone tuning in at the UK. Getting involved in the workout. <laughs> Okay, right guys, come to your feet. Yeah, you want to do it again? Come to your feet and come to your dumbbell, okay? So, standing with your dumbbell in between your feet, we're going to go for five dumbbell deadlifts each arm. So you're going to lean over, bring your hand around the dumbbell, you're going to stand up with a straight arm, come back down, tap the floor, stand up again. Again, like last week, want to make sure you keep that chest straight, keep that chest up. And you should be feeling it in your legs and your back, not just your back. So five each arm. Good. Give your legs a wee shake. Then we're going to go for five dumbbell push press. So you're going to bring your dumbbell up to your shoulder. Other one out to the side. You're going to dip, lock it out above your head. Okay, so watching out here, dip, straighten. Okay, let's go five each arm. Oh, a few creaks here. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> cool. Take a few breaths. Take a step back from your dumbbell, guys. And we're going to go for five kickback burpees. So that's your burpee. Arms stay straight. Feet kick back behind you. Back in. Stand up and jump. Okay, Ed, make sure you get that jump in. Five times. Shout outs to the jet pilot, to Delane DaCosta, Delane and Jackson, and to uh, Patrick Sadek. Awesome. Okay, so if you have a rower, I want you to jump on your rower. You're going to do a 60-second row. Start off just at a steady pace as you get, move on and pick up the pace a little bit. Okay, if you don't have a rower at home, no problem. This is going to be a nice burner. We're going to go for 10, uh, 15 kettlebell deadlifts to start with, okay? So he's going to stand, squeeze his butt at the top, touch the floor, just like we did with the dumbbell. Just turn sideways, Elliot. Thank you. For those that did the kettlebell workout on Thursday, we hope that uh, your back is feeling okay now. Have you did a few stretches over the weekend? So we know you had time. Do you want to do another round of that? Get properly warm. Yeah. Cool. 
Okay. Cool. Okay. So back to your dumbbell snatch. Okay. So a dumbbell snatch, we start from the floor. It's like a dumbbell deadlift. You're going to pick up a bit of pace. Okay. We're going to stand up, keep the dumbbell close, and you're going to punch it above your head. Cool. You can either re dip or pull it straight up in one movement. Okay. Get the arm locked out above your head, bicep beside your ear. Okay. Let's go five each arm. Okay. We're going to alternate though, because the workout has prescribed alternate. So you do one, you can either switch on the way down like Elliot's doing, or you can put it on the floor and switch from the floor. For those that have the Vogue Fitness at home kit, we're gonna find out if that 50 pound dumbbell was too much. If you do have a heavier dumbbell than you would like, then what you want to think about in this workout is just try keep a steady pace. Maybe do one, put it down, take a breath, come back to your dumbbell, do that second one. <laughs> we may see that here. Okay, then you're going to go back to your burpees. Okay, this time, let's just go five normal burpees. Okay, so lie down. I still want you to jump and clap. Good. Cool. Okay, so tricks with your burpees, guys. Try to keep moving. So don't do a sprinting pace that you have to stop after 30 seconds. Try keep a pace where you come down to the floor. You can come back up. You can step if you like, and then you breathe. Okay? So the workout today, you are going to be jumping over the dumbbell. It actually makes it easier, okay? So you're going to burpee down. You don't have to stand all the way up if you don't want. You can step in or two feet come in, stay low, jump over the dumbbell. Great tickers, nice and low. Okay? Just be sure to jump all the way over. Okay? I want everyone to just try two of them for me now. Elliot looks like he's out of breath already. Oh, yeah. Excellent technique. If you want to crawl up, no problem. <laughs> yeah, that one. Yeah. Okay, let's jump on the rower again, another 60 second row. If you're on the kettlebell, we are going to go for sumo deadlift high pull. So your sumo deadlift high pull, you've done your deadlift. From there, you're the, then going to drive your hips up. We stand, you bring the handle to your chin and then straight back down. I want you to imagine that you come up and then your finished position is standing with your arms straight. Okay, we don't want to dive at the floor. So Elliot's going to show you a few reps. Good reps. Oof, perfect technique, coach. Coach, so he's, very good technique. He's standing Captain up. Captain, you are fit. Hitting his chin, but straight back down. So if you look at it, it's very similar to rowing. Okay, you're doing the same movement. You're just not pulling on a chain. Okay, what we don't want to see though is when we dive at the floor, okay? We're gonna pull, we don't wanna pull the kettlebell early, which we see often. <laughs> Very fast, but not great, okay? Style. Make sure we straighten our arms first, and then lean over, your back will thank you tomorrow. Okay, so, grab yourselves a drink, but stay nearby, so I'm just gonna go over how the workout works. <laughs> Anyone got water? No? Okay, so the workout tonight, guys, is we've got five rounds. Okay, you're going to go one minute at each station. Okay, so station one is your alternating dumbbell snatch. Okay, you just want to keep a continuous count of that. Minute two, you're going to do your burpees over the dumbbell. Okay, when you do these, count the jump. It makes it much less confusing. Minute three, you're either going to do calories on the rower or your sumo deadlift high pull. Okay? Minute four is a rest. So again, three minutes of work, one minute rest, five times. So we'll have 20 minutes of working out. Cool? So same as last week, try keep as consistent as you can. Okay? So keep count, maybe a running count on the first round, and then from there, you can try keep the same or try build. No drop-offs. Cool. 
Okay, so make sure you've got everything set up right. Grab a drink again if you need another one and we'll get going in about a minute. Remember guys, if you're at home and you can set this uh, up on your smart TVs and go full screen to get fully involved. Full screen, full power. We have quite a few people joining us for the first time tonight, so we hope you enjoy the workout. Make sure that when you finish the workout, you leave your comments for your uh, total reps. There isn't, there isn't a man born from his mother that can beat Ant Monks. <laughs> okay, so I'll remind you, I'll give you a countdown, guys, when the minute changes, um, and I'll remind you of the movements as we go. In uh, scoring? Scoring, yes. So we will keep a running count. So... Keep a running count of each round, and then at the end, you can work out your total reps. And we'll tell you the total score from Anthony and Elliot after each round. Yeah. And also, uh, just take note if you're rowing or sumo deadlift high pull, because obviously, sumo deadlift high pull is very different to calories on the row. Okay? No cheating. Right, are we ready, boys? Good but if thing. you don't cheat, you don't win. <laughs> <laughs> the cheating trophy. 10 seconds. So, snatches. One minute here, okay, guys? Go. Key with snatches, guys, is keep breathing. It's basically just cardio with the dumbbell. Try keep your eyes up looking at the TV or your phone. This will keep your back a little bit straighter. And bend those legs, save that back. You've got five minutes of this. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one, burpees. Elliot stopping early, early there, just before the minute was up. Good tactics, means he'll be uh, nice and fresh for the burpees. Key here as well, guys, breathe. By the end of this quarantine, you're going to love burpees. Ten seconds. Five, head towards your rower. Three, two, one. Row or high pulls. Let's go one minute here, guys, and then you get to rest. Elliot Simmons wasting no time there. Pull, let them relax. Pull, relax. And on that rower, no excuses. Go hard. Sixty-eight or seventy-eight reps for El Simo there. Have a judge doing the, a doing the, isn't it? And sixty for Ant on the rower. And sixty for Ant on the rower. <laughs> send, a, send in your uh, scores, guys, Catch and then we know what you're trying to beat. Yeah, write down your scores so you can let us know at the end. 
we'll quickly pop them in the comments and uh, see how you did against Anthony and Elliot. Marco, the boss in Italy, still waiting for Patrick versus Billy. Patrick's Aren't ready to go 24 7. Aren't we all? You might be seeing Patrick. No. Patty's the fitness man, Billy's the business man. Don't worry, he's got a second place on, though. Five seconds, guys, back to your dumbbell. Remember, eyes up. Three, two, let's go. Monsoor just tuning in there. Monsoor, rather than writing in the comments section, perhaps you should focus on actually doing the workout. <laughs> and we're to our second round now, guys. You're starting to feel that back, guys. Bend your legs. There's no problem with your legs being tired, but let's save that back. Keep moving throughout this workout. Enjoy those burpees, just keep moving. Start heading towards your roller. Three, two, one, go. Row or high pulls. So guys, try to be efficient, use those legs and relax. We're coming up to that minute rest guys, so remember push it, push on that roller. Sixty-eight repetitions for El Simo, same as the first round. How many? Sixty for Anthony. So they've managed to stay level on both rounds. If at home, try and keep that pace as well. Let's not go hundred percent, seventy percent, twenty percent. Also, shout out to CrossFit Kelly, who's messaged in and asked for more inappropriate jokes, but sorry, this is a, uh, a clean broadcast. <laughs> Ahmed Hamad, 48, well done. Mansour Al Zabi, 75. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure 75 what, but. <laughs> 10 seconds, guys, we're back to our dumbbell. Go! So guys, as you can, uh, whilst you're working out or whether you're watching, you'll have heard there that Elliot and Anthony have both scored the same number of repetitions on the first two rounds. So consistency is definitely something that you should be looking for during the course of the five rounds. It isn't going to be beneficial if you go out really hot and by the last round you're unable to do 50% of what you initially completed. So be consistent. 
Great business advice there from Billy Graham. Ten seconds! Then we're back to our burpees. Three, two, one, burpees! So don't waste time in that transition, guys. Get straight onto it. Keep that head down, guys. Keep working. Push this last minute at home now. repetitions for Elliot and 60 for Anthony so uh, Elliot marginally increasing his score and Anthony staying dead even after okay. round three now for everyone at home Jamie Green how would you attack this oh I think I would pick the kettlebell over the rower so there you go Patty you don't like rowing I just love kettlebells and I think I would just die in the, in the burpees. So it might not go that well. I'm here, I'm here. Anthony, uh, we thought he might have disappeared, but he's back. He's back, we thought he went home, but Calls he's back. Calls from the studio to get back in frame. <laughs> okay, guys, we are over halfway. Three seconds, two, one, round number four, let's do it. Okay, try and keep those reps up for this round, guys. Round number four now. Ahmed Hamad with 53. Let's try and go even more now. Miss Patty, I'd try to copy these boys, but they're good at, they're good with dumbbells and kettlebells. Go guys, round four is always the hardest round. Work hard here and you'll make it through the last one. And monks with the old uh, mid uh, dumbbell switch tech it. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, down to the four. Burpees. Looking speedy now. Awesome work, guys. You're going to feel good after this.
If you're really struggling here, guys, you can go to those kickback burpees like we did in warm up. 10 seconds. Head to your rower. Three, two, let's go. Final minute of round four, push it home now. Die. Ten seconds. Three, two, and rest. Seventy-six reps from El Sima. That's his highest yet. And Anthony. Six. Sixty-two. And sixty-two, oh, 62. from Anthony. So. Oh, right. Both Anthony and Elliot increasing their scores on their previous three rounds. At home, we hope oh. that you can marginally get better each round as well and really push. We're going into our final round. Anthony is counting in uh, Arabic and we can't keep up. Very impressive. We're trying. So final round now at home, guys. Make sure you push hard here. We'll have a stretch down when we finish. But let's not leave anything in the tank tonight. You can go ham now, don't be shy. 10 seconds. Final three minutes of work, guys. Ahmed Hamad with 54. Three, two, one, let's go. You can lie on the floor after this. Do as you please. Last lot of snatches, guys. Keep that dumbbell close. Keep breathing. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, burpees. Final set of burpees. Should be pushing hard now. Let's go! No reason to hold back now! Do not let yourself stop! 10 seconds coming up! Get a few more in, then get ready to go for it on that roller! Head to your roller! 3, 2, 1, let's go! On to your final minute! Last minute, let's push. Here he comes. Coming for you on the rower. Thirty seconds. Nice, Al. Come 
one and last 10 seconds, last 10 here. Push, push, push. Three, two, one, rest. Woof. 80 repetitions from El Simmer there. His highest round was round five. 65. And 65 from Anthony Monk. So both of the both of the lads uh, saved it to the end. So I don't know if they were sandbagging the first few rounds or they went ham at the end. Elliot, total repetitions for the workout was 362. Oof. Oof indeed. And? And Anthony was 307 reps on the rower. So one will be your rowing score. The other one, Sumo Diddleff High Pool score. So as you catch your breath and as we sterilize, wipe the equipment down, catch your breath, add your scores, pop them in the comment box on the live chat, and let's see how everyone fared. Well done, though, guys. That was a brutal one to start the week. A minute is a long time on those exercises. For those of you tuning in who are residents of the UAE, just while the guys are sterilizing, they're implemented by the UAE government with regards to keeping off the roads and out of public places between 8 p.m. and 6 a.m. Just be reminded that ha that has been extended by a few more days. So keep your eyes on all the government sources and, of course, the World Health Organization to keep up to date with exactly what's going on. But please, as a member of Vogue Fitness or as a resident in the UAE, please adhere very, very strictly to the guidelines that are being put in place by our government. It is for our own safety, so please follow those rules tightly. Okay, guys. If you've had a drink, caught your breath, find a bit of space on the floor. Okay, we're going to start by just letting your heart rate come down on your back. Yeah. We've got a few scores just come in. We've got Dua with a 60, 62, 63, 60, 61 for a total of 306 with the kettlebell. Oh, Dua, you need to uh, increase the weight that you're using, my dear. <laughs> okay, so lying on the floor like the boys are, uh, legs out straight, arms above your head. Let's just stretch out. Okay, when you're lying here, just find somewhere that's comfortable for your shoulders. So if they want to sprawl out a bit, they can do that. <laughs> you don't look that comfortable. Jasna with 311 <laughs> reps. I'm not sure if that's row or kettlebell. Then from here, guys, you're going to take three big breaths. Okay, so big breath in. As big as you can. Hold for a second and then breathe out. Okay, in your own time, let's just go for three of them lying there. Enjoy the work you've done. Jasna had the kettlebell, and we've got Karen Simmons with the row and a 17.5 kg dumbbell. She's done 44, 45, 46, 45, 46. Whee! That's a... Oh, oh, yeah. oh! Elliot's she, mum, well done. Great I consistency. About, I think she just about had the same weight as you boys. Go on, Kaza. 17. Cool, okay, guys. Then you're going to bring your knees into your chest. <laughs> Thank you, Great Elliot angle from these two. <laughs> Your turn, little side turn. No balls, that's <laughs> Ahmed okay. Hamad, 47 for his last round. Try grab your elbows around your knees if you can, and then just flatten your back to the floor. So rest your head down, head down in, yeah. And you're trying to stretch open your back against the floor. And again, take a few big breaths here. There's a few calls for, uh, for Billy Graham to back his talk up with the, with the workout. Oh, we're waiting. I'm all business. Where's the bullet? He got, he got 75 apparently. Who? Huh? I'm sorry, I was like, yeah. yeah. 75, what? That's good. Uh, straighten one leg out to the floor. Keep the other knee bent into your chest. The Monsoor 75 is being called into question. They're asking if that's 75 meters on the rower. <laughs> pull that, out, that knee right up to your shoulder. That's it. Pull it in tight, guys. Dan Hart, but Dan Hart back in London, still on that pussy stretch, or that pussy cat stretch. We've got a hello to Rania. She says, this was amazing. Thank you, Rania. Oh, thanks for joining us, Rania. And cross your leg over your body. Okay, guys. So, no, 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 no. If, yeah, Ant's got it. You're not listening to me. No, okay. Whoa. This looking at Ant. So cross your knee over your body. You're trying to keep your opposite shoulder on the floor. And also try to keep your knee in line with your hip. 
Hello to Masudi, who was commenting throughout, who oh. we tactfully ignored. He was doing this one. Yeah, he did a 73k bike ride. 73k bike ride, Inside. yep. Very well done, Masudi. Oh, wow. Wow, that's impressive. Back to the middle, guys. Straighten that leg out and bring the other knee up now. There you go, Elliot. So, guys, if you did the workout today, make sure you tag us. Put it up on uh, wherever you like. But tag us in it so we can see you working out. Um, and then we'll be back tomorrow, same time, same place, different workout. Hey yeah, guys, share and tag. We'll repost everyone that, uh, that tags us on Instagram with their home workout. Let's keep, uh, keep going, keep posting. And until tomorrow, Marcelo. And cross your leg over again. Adios. Not yet, we've got two more stretches. Oh, hang on, well, no, go. no, two more, two more stretches. Shows these guys are watching. This is freaking. Uh, Aisha Alkabi, she's collected her rower and other dumbbell and it's her first day of home workout. Congratulations, yeah. Aisha. Well done. Aisha, Aisha. Cool, come back to the middle, guys, and then you're going to sit up and you're going to reach for your toes. Aisha, so also says, <laughs> Aisha also says, Jamie, you're the best. Woo! <laughs> this is who is the best. <laughs> yeah, sweet new one, El Simo. Sweet flat top. It's literally like a cow has licked the back of your head. <laughs> reach those toes, reach those toes. And then just give your legs a shake, guys. If you want, you can lie there for a bit longer. Do as you please, you're at home. <laughs> but we'll see you. We'll see you again tomorrow for a new time. Bye bye from Vogue Fitness. Go ahead, go ahead.